Earlier this week, I sent an email out to my subscribers asking them a simple question. I want to help you start an affiliate marketing business. You tell me the niche and I'll actually create a YouTube video uh, showing you. And to encourage participation, I also offered them a $50 PayPal gift card if they respond. And so one person responded back with boats. Uh, he just gave me a very basic boat topic. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to try and create an affiliate marketing business based on boats. Hello, my name is Alston with AlstonGodbolt.com and I'm an unemployed. An unemployed is simply someone that realizes that the traditional nine to five grind isn't for them. If you're like me, an unemployed, be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell as I show you different ways to unemploy from your boss and your job. All right, so basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to create an affiliate marketing business in the boating niche. Now I know nothing about boats and so this should be pretty fun. Now, before we get started, if you want to participate in this drawing where you can potentially win a $50 PayPal gift card, I want you to comment down below with a niche that you want me to create a business in. Now, the only caveat is uh, it cannot be health, wealth, or relationships. Now, there are tons of videos out there where people are going to tell you to go over to ClickBank and grab your Ted's Woodworking affiliate link and go put it places. I'm going to be a little bit more creative than that. Uh, pick a niche. It can be broad. It can be small, uh, but it cannot be in health, wealth, or relationships. So with, without further ado, let's go ahead and try and start an affiliate marketing business for Boat. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to jump over to Google Trends because I want to see what's trending in the boating world in the boating niche. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Google Trends and I'm just going to type in boating. Now I know absolutely nothing about boating and this can help us kind of narrow it down. This is also going to give us an idea of uh, how popular it is and some of the questions that people are asking. So uh, things that people are saying down here at the bottom, Michigan boating ban, all, all fire extinguishers are labeled with a letter that doesn't really have anything to do. I lost all my in a go boating accident what amount of alcohol consumed while boating. Uh, these all could potentially be questions that you could answer within the boating niche. So if we scroll down here, we hit tow boat uh, recreation. Uh, what we could also do is we could just simply type in uh, boating affiliate program and see what pops up. Now, most likely what's going to pop up and uh, one more cup of coffee, coffee actually kind of helped us out with that is I wouldn't be surprised if we saw things from like Cabela's or Dick's Sporting Goods or Bass Pro Shops because those are going to be the hunting and sporting type uh, affiliate programs that we could jump into. But let's take a quick look at one more cup of coffee.com to see what they have to say. If we scroll down here, boating and yachts, uh, we could potentially sell small boats. Um, most likely uh, people that are, are, are interested in large boats or yacht, yachting are probably not going to be um, browsing the internet, they probably have a guy that does that for them. Uh, so marine products, boating, uh, Sea Eagle, Outdoor Play, Cabela's, as I mentioned, Bass Pro Shops, these are all places that you could potentially uh, start creating content. And most of these are gonna be free. So one of these, one interesting thing is uh, boat booking, and you could probably rent boats on here. Boat bookings is the top online yacht charter in the world. Um, so that could be an option as well. What we want to do is let's go over to YouTube and see what YouTube is talking about with regards to boating. Now, my favorite thing to do when it comes to YouTube and trying to find ideas is just simply the alphabet soup method. And what the alphabet soup method is you type in your keyword or your keyword phrase, and then you hit the space bar and go through each letter of the alphabet and try and figure out what people want to know. This is an easy way to go because A, it helps you create content, give you content ideas, and B, you're going to actually show up in search results because you are answering questions that people want to know. So if I just type in boat um, and go through each letter of the alphabet, boat, dog, crash, launch, fail, um, accident, people want boat crash compilations. Uh, so we could say how to, how to space boat, how to boat neck cutting and stitching, not sure what any of that stuff, how to boat surf, how to boat launch, um, how to boat fish, Fishing could be an interesting one where you create content about fishing and then just recommend the best boats for fishing. Uh, if we jump over to Google here, we could type in best boats for, as you can see, best boats for tubing, uh, for Lake Michigan, lakes, families, beginners, um, and so on. So this is giving us an idea that you could actually create a lot of content about boating or boats. So best boats for beginners. Uh, let's see what that brings up. 23 best cheap affordable boats for your budget. Uh, discoverboating.com has 
the answers. And it looks like this is going to probably be an affiliate website where you click on links and it'll take you to affiliate offers. So you, we know that people are searching and asking these types of questions and it looks like phishing could be our way to go. As you can see, all most of these are going to be phishing related. Um, if I click on, let's see, visit Lund Boats to learn more, this is probably an affiliate link. So we click on that. Um, it takes us to Lund and if we scroll all the way down, we can see if they have an affiliate program. It may not be here. It might actually be through a third party, but as you can see here, there is a lot of opportunity when it comes to boats. So basically what I would do is I would probably look at trying to create something where I align boating and fishing, or maybe um, one thing that you're gonna run into is boats. Boating may be seasonal, where there's going to be a lot of demand or interest in the spring and summer, even late fall months, early fall months, but not as much uh, interest in the winter because you know here in the north for example in Wisconsin obviously we aren't boating in December or February <clears throat> now April May June maybe uh, but not so much maybe October November December probably not as much um, but there is a ton of interest here we could say boating for beginners let's try that boating for beginners as you can see here boating for beginners how not to drive a boat um, it looks like people are asking some questions. If I just click on boating for beginners, you could give the best tips for boating. This top result here has 272,000 views and it was uploaded just a year ago. So that's actually pretty good. Easy boating tips. You could essentially just create a bunch of tips, a, a bunch of uh, an answering questions when it comes to boating and then refer them to maybe the best boat for beginners. So what we're gonna do to get an idea if people are actually looking for boating for beginners, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna go to a website called answerthepublic.com. Now with answerthepublic.com, basically it is a search aggregate where it searches around the internet looking for questions or, or search topics that people are answering or asking and then <clears throat> excuse me, and then it, it aggregates them and it puts them in a nice little data sheet here. So I'm just gonna put in boating for beginners, hit search, always change it to United States. I always forget to do that and it always searches United Kingdom. Um, so it looks like no questions there, um, no there. And then it says boating for beginners UK, Nero boating, so that could be an option as well. Let me go back and change it to the United States. Now one problem with answer the public because it's free it only limits you to two searches per day uh, there is a premium plan where you can actually get more searches or if you use a vpn um, you can get two more searches that way as well but if we continue on it looks like again there's still no questions that people are asking if we change this to data uh boat for beginners book youtube um boating for beginners boating tips for beginners so it looks like there are some questions that you could go in and answer ask an answer um you could actually what you could do is you could run some b-roll if you have a boat if you have experience in boating go out on the lake and and do some um some footage from there talk on your boat uh, and it really answer your questions and, and share tips and best practices but as you can see there is a market there is a demand when you look at all of this here, uh, you could even d dive into the different types of boats. So if we type in types of boats, as you can see, there are different types of boats that you could actually create content on. Uh, let's see here, pontoon boat. I know there's a website about pontoons, but I just can't remember. Uh, again, another thing you could do is you could actually kind of go through these websites, discoverboating.com, which it appears to have a ton of information and you can, kind of harvest some information there. Now, obviously you don't wanna copy, you don't wanna steal content. It's very important that you do not steal content, but you could use a website like this to get ideas of what people are asking, what the questions people are having, and you can start creating content that way. But as you can see here, they have a ton of information, uh, freshwater fishing. You could potentially create content on that. Um, if we go back up to YouTube here, we go, Fresh water fishing for beginners, click on that. And as you can see, there are tons of people that are asking questions or they're wanting to learn more uh, about boating and fishing. So what you would wanna do is you probably wanna create maybe three videos per per week about uh, boating, ans answering various questions. Maybe you wanna stay within the boating tips niche. Maybe you want to venture out and talk about the different types of boating. And then you can refer them to an affiliate program 
like uh let's go over to bass pro shops pro shop and we'll say affiliate program all right so bass pro shop affiliate program and if we go here it says bass pro shop affiliate program uh, they actually pay up to a five percent commission and the cookie duration is 14 days so that's all pretty good information if we go to boating here uh, let's say and and this is actually a wealth of information when we click on boating you can see there's another a whole lot of niche down opportunities uh, marine electronics boating accessories boating seats and furniture uh, trolling motors uh, trailer accessories these are all different ways that you could create content within the boating niche so you don't have to venture too far out into fishing if that's not something you're interested in you could stay right here and just kind of go through each one of these sub niches and create content uh, for example marine electronics let's click on this first one fish finders and navigation uh, this is an easy youtube video if i click on this we go copy and i just type in let's say best whoops best paste that best fish finders and navigation and we hit enter this has affiliate um, this has affiliate marketing written all over it because i'm sure if we click this one top five best fish finder gps combo review in 2020 um, i'm sure the links in here have affiliate links and it actually looks like this person is just running b-roll and they're not actually talking about it so i'm going to pause this here real quick and as you can see, these all link over to Amazon, which you could be an affiliate for as well. Now, Amazon will pay up to a 10% commission. Most likely it's gonna be between maybe three and 5%. And so as you can see, I'm sure if we go through this, uh, let's pause this, this is an ad. Uh, but if we scroll down here, these are all affiliate links. And when you click on it, this person has 46, almost 47,000 views. And it was uploaded in 2019 when they when they click on this link, it'll take them to the product over on Amazon. If the person buys the product, uh, the, the content creator, the YouTuber gets paid a commission. So if I click on this right now, and let's see, this is $106. Let's say you get paid 3% commission on that. Uh, let's do the, let's do the math. 107 times 3%. You're looking at $3.21. But this video has uh, 46,000 views, let's say, let's say 10% of those people bought it. Um, so let's say 4,600 people clicked on the link and bought the product. So if we just multiply 321, 321 times, uh, what did I say? 4,800 people, you're, look, oops, you're looking at $15,000 and that's just from one product. If we click on next pick, which is the YouTube channel. I'm sure they have a bunch of videos about affiliate marketing and, and affiliate marketing based videos. As you can see, top five, these are all affiliate marketing geared videos where people are clicking on these links and they're trying to decide and buy a product, but you can do this over and over again. So if I were to start all over, if I were just getting started, I would jump over to Bass Pro Shops, click on boating, and then I would basically just go through and try and create different pieces of content. For example, with fish finders, what to look for, how to know the best fish finders, how to know contenders from pretenders. Just answer simple questions about fish finders. And again, to find out about the fish, not right now. And to find out about fish finders, to figure out what people are asking, jump over to YouTube or Google and type in fish finders, hit space bar. And as you can see, people are asking questions, fish finders for beginners, death kayaks dummies and so on if you go through each letter of the alphabet people are going to be asking questions fish finders explain this is a very good fish finder features explain this is a very good opportunity very good video that you could create to help someone that knows absolutely nothing about fish finders explain it to them and explain why they may need one if they're just fishing this video has 275,000 views from six months ago and it's only a 10 minute video explaining what fish finders are now if you don't know what fish finders are jump over to google do a little bit of research and then create your own videos. Uh, let's see if this person's even showing his face. It's not gonna give me a preview, but what I would do if I were just starting, I would first jump over to a website like Dick Sporting Goods and I would look at the boating niche because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about boating. Within boating, as you can see, there are a ton of sub niches. Uh, marine electronics, boating accessories, boating seats and furniture, boat covers, and I'm not sure what that is, trolling motors and so on. I'd go through and create helpful content in each one of these sub niches 
I'd make YouTube videos and then I would actually add a call to action to have them click the link in the description to learn more about boating. Now, what I would do at this point is I would actually send them to a landing page to collect their email address. Now, the reason why you want to do that is because you know these people are interested in boating and you know sport and recreation. What you can do is you can send them emails every single day, letting them know when you have a new YouTube video available, letting them know that you know you have a, a new review out, or maybe your thoughts have changed about the best uh, fish finder and navigation. Collect their email address, and what you could do is you could go over to a website like um, Free PLR or you know ID PLR and get an ebook, or you can even make one yourself with boating tips and tricks. 10, 10 tips that the experts won't tell you about boating. Give them that free ebook in exchange for their email address, and then you can email them forever about the boating niche. And as you can see, uh, people are spending money. Uh, this is this this Garmin GPS is almost a thousand dollars. So, now what did we say? What did we say that um, Bass Pros Bass Pro Shops pays a five percent commission, I believe? So, what's nine hundred dollars times um, nine hundred dollars times five percent? It's $45. So you make one sale, you can make $45 with this GPS. Now, if I jump back over to fish finders, uh, let's type in best fish finder, best fish finders and navigation. If I click on that, the one that, that came up was $105. But what you could do too, is you could simply do a review video on just this fish finder. If I copy this, I don't want that. Bass Pro Chefs. If I copy this, copy, jump back over to YouTube. Now you don't want to just do review videos. You do want to do a mix of helpful solving problems type videos. So as you can see here, I copy and pasted the the name of that fish finder. And as you can see, people are doing this exact same thing. They're looking for answers. They're looking for their, they want to confirm that the product that they want to buy is the right one. And so as you can see here at the very top, there is a 22 minute video underneath that. We have a bunch of videos that are less than five minutes long, but if we click on this, this one is from the Aqua Lifestyle. We click on this video. This person only has 126 subscribers, but this video has 5,000 view, 9,000 views. Look at this, 126 subscribers, but 9,000 views. Now, if he put an affiliate link in here, uh, he could make even more money. As you can see, they put affiliate links over to Amazon. If I click Amazon right here, as you can see, $969. If they got paid a 3% commission on that, we'll erase that. Uh, 969.95 times 3%, that's $29, almost $30 just from this one product. So if I, just to, to recap one more time, go over to a website like Dick's Sporting Goods and niche down. You want to look for, and I've lost I've lost Dick's Sporting Goods here. All right, so go over to dicksportinggoods.com or, or bassproshops.com. Click on the boating niche. Create content in these sub niches. Each one of these, you could probably create five, 10, 15 pieces of content. Join their affiliate program. They pay up to a 5% commission and create content over on YouTube. You're, you can get hundreds of thousands of views and subscribers. Add a call to action at the begin, beginning and the end of your video where you say, hey, if you want a free guide to, if you want a free guide to learn tip, 10 tips about boating, click the link in the description or go to myboatingguide.com forward slash yes, whatever your website is. You collect their email address, you give them the, those tips and then you can email them and follow up with them and, and offer them different opportunities because you know they're interested in boating. Maybe you want to let them know when Bass Pro Shops is having a Black Friday sale. Maybe you want to let them know when you have a new YouTube channel up. If you wanna learn how to start an online business, you want more information on the steps of starting a successful online business, go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. The link is in the description. Hopefully you did get value out of this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell as I upload different ways for you to unemploy from your boss or your job. This is Alston with AustinGodVolt.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Before I forget, I do want to inform you that some of the links that you will see in your description are affiliate links, and I do and can receive a commission if you click on those links and purchase a product.